welcome again friends we have discussed uh, how a normal cell can become a cancer cells and we have also discussed the genetic basis of cancer and how a proto oncogene can be converted into an oncogene now here what kind of gene can be converted to oncogenes uh, uh, let us look at here now i have always told you that there are three major category of genes that when when they are transformed they will be oncogenes one is the growth factor genes or any kind of growth regulatory genes and the second one is the apoptotic genes here it is the bcl2 and also the third kind is uh, the tumor suppressor genes or like p53 or p21 on all this okay now we are going to see here uh, those different genes when triggered they can form oncogenes for example first one is the growth factors growth factors uh, like pdgf or platelet derived growth factor also epidermal growth factor or egf is also there now the genes for that like sis which is coding for the pdgf protein is a type of oncogene so this sis gene present so let me take a color first this sis gene usually present there inside a normal cell now this gene won't cause any trouble inside the normal cell but when it is altered this was called the proto oncogene when it is present in the normal cell but when it is altered it is mutated it will produce a bad copy of sis now this sis can cause disease this can cause alteration this can cause cancer okay in other hand efg or epidermal growth factor receptors uh, could be a type of that gene and the gene is her2 okay the third type is called ras and ras or src uh, whatever these proteins are typical tyrosine uh, kinase uh, family proteins tyrosine kinase means they can phosphorylate those proteins which are having tyrosine residues so this ras src and raf these proteins will phosphorylate and activates further downstream processing of the signal transduction pathway we have discussed signal transduction pathway about ras and raf pathway so just go back and look at them now here this type of genes are also responsible for producing cancers now the fourth kind here it could be uh, proteins that control the cell cycle or simply the tumor suppressor genes so here it's a gene called cdk or cyclin dependent kinase so cyclin d1 is a type of that protein so this is controlling and regulating regulating the cell division and growth now also there are proteins like p53 which is controlling the cell division and growth via different uh, protein regulation so these proteins are also responsible for uh, producing oncogenes and producing cancers because malfunctioning of any kind of protein that is linked with growth factor and cell growth and division and cell cycle will lead to the generation of cancer okay fifth type is this proteins that affect the apoptosis or the apoptotic factors so the genes which are producing proteins for the apoptosis like bcl2 now this gene malfunctioning can cause to loss of death of the cell so the cell will start living and living and the cell become immortal okay and the fifth kind or uh, sorry at the sixth kind is the transcription factors transcription factors like jun and fos and mic so these are also important part of the oncogenes so all of these genes remember when they present in the normal healthy cell they they present there as a form of proto oncogene so they won't cause any harm the proteins they are producing in turn they are effective they are required for the pr proper functioning of the normal cell but when these genes are getting altered due to any kind of agents agents like chemical or physical agents physically radiation could be there chemical uh, mutagens would be there and also this type of modification in those genes can lead up to the generation of cancerous effects so then they, those normal cell will become cancerous cells then those genes uh, will be converted to this oncogenes okay so that's it and the picture courtesy is from the cell and molecular biology uh, 2005 copyright by john and john williamson okay so that's it and i hope this video is helping you thank you